Corey, I guess great minds think alike, because uh, it's funny, I had been thinking about talking about uh, Nintendo uh, ceasing its Wi-Fi connectivity as well, uh, and tying that into uh, another thing, a uh, piece of obsolete technology that we really shouldn't be letting be obsolete. And that, of course, is the ICE probe that was launched in uh, 1978 by NASA, uh, sent to study comets or the sun or something. I don't know. But anyway, it was launched. It's out there right now. Uh, and its mission supposedly ended in 1997. But in 2008, we found out that it was still out there. And it was still broadcasting signal. And uh, it still has plenty of fuel and still can be controlled. The problem is, is on our end, because we don't have the technology to send signals to it. We can talk to it, but we can't send signals, because we've let that technology go obsolete. We have no support for it anymore. And uh, NASA has decided that it's not in the budget to try to uh, reconnect with this probe. Why that is boggles my mind. I mean, this is legitimate scientific advancement, uh, you know, scientific research we could be getting from this. It, it, it doesn't make any sense that we wouldn't even be trying to, to do this because it's not in the budget. Uh, the numbers don't add up. Those numbers don't add up to me. Uh, why would we be squandering this? But bringing it back to that obsolete technology, uh, you know, if Nintendo and, you know, PlayStation and Microsoft and all of these other uh, companies, if they didn't keep making new product and stop uh, supporting the old product, then we wouldn't buy the new product. At least that's what they think. Uh, I, I don't know that that's true. I mean, just because I have a Kindle and I enjoy a Kindle doesn't mean that I'm going to give up my books. I love my books. I, I don't know that the analogy quite is as perfect as it could be, but I definitely think that there's a place for older technology. Uh, I, I mean, even if, if just as a learning, uh, you know, experience. But luckily there is uh, a great emulation community out there uh, and, and uh, hacking community, so maybe all of these obsolete, you know, technologies will be preserved in some way. Uh, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Uh, with all this open source research. And honestly, that's where I see the future of human civilization heading uh, towards more open sourced uh, technologies. We just aren't going to be able to continue to develop uh, and, and exist equitably uh, with all of these copyrighted, you know, DRM, all of this malarkey. I just read an article that uh, put the United States, the, the inventor of the internet, at like the 33rd or 34th uh, for average internet speed in the world. We're like behind Estonia and Lithuania. How that's possible? Well, I, I mean, it's possible because Back in 1996, there was this telecom bill that went out uh, and it allowed all of these big telecom corporations to carve out their own markets and name their own markets, and basically it allowed them to create as many monopolies as they wanted uh, in the marketplace uh, as far as cable and, and internet providers go. And there's no uh, competition. And without competition, uh, they have no incentive to lower the prices, to uh, increase the quality of the service, uh, and so they're all using these antiquated uh, technologies and they're not uh, investing in the infrastructure uh, to build better, unlike all of these other countries. In fact, they're actually finding out that having a completely deregulated free market, uh, when, when you're talking about services like, uh, like the internet, um, doesn't work. Uh, and, and countries like uh, South Korea and um, all these other European countries that are uh, really investing in high quality fiber optic uh, cable um, infrastructures uh, where the government is actually causing uh, competition 
that that's a much, much better system. But I really don't want to get into a political rant. Um, I, I just think that if, if we are going to advance to the next level, that we really, really need to work together and, and stop thinking just about money uh, and, and really focus on advancing. So until we kind of take our, our future into our own hands, uh, I, I think we're, we're going to be at a disadvantage for a while. But in uh, better news, I am putting the finishing touches on Pantheon, and I'm actually going to be playtesting Pantheon Mark II uh, this evening uh, with some friends, so I will uh, let you know how that goes. Anyway, uh, that's all I have. Corey, I look forward to uh, hearing from you tomorrow.